Good evening and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well tonight. As you can see, I'm not in my normal location. I am in the Emerald Isle with Miss Mary at her beach house. And this time I brought a whole lot more cards with me than I normally do. If you've been around a while, you know that normally when I come down here, I only bring like five or six decks with me. Sorry the lighting is not good, but there's not much light on this side of the porch. And there's um, there's nowhere else to set up the table. So this is where we had to sit. Um, I'm sorry I've been out of, my, you know, uh, missing in action uh, for a couple of days. That's not like me, but... This weekend, Miss Mary has not been feeling well, so please, if you will, pray for Miss Mary and send her some healing vibes, some positive vibes that she will, um, that she'll be at peace, okay? Miss Mary is almost 104 years old, if you're not aware of who she is. I have been her living caretaker for four years, and... I, after my husband passed away last September, I had to go back to work so I could pay my mortgage. But they, her family wanted me to stay, so I decided to continue to stay with her at night. And so I still take care of her at night, and I go to work during the day. And other nurses come in, and they're, they're here with me as well. So we have a little, um, like a sleepover, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um... <clears throat> We're going to be down here for the rest of the week and the next weekend as well. The song that came through was that song we got the other day called All Mine by Brent, I think, Freyaz or Fayaz, Fayaz. All Mine. You, baby, you know how it feels to be all mine. Let's keep it real. And the sense that I get from this song is that somebody... It's somebody that you have had a relationship with and they did not treat you well or you did not treat somebody well. I don't know which side of this you're on, but somebody didn't get treated well at all. And they want a second chance and they're saying, let's keep it real. You know, we had our good, we had a lot of ups. Uh, we had a lot of downs rather, but we also had a, a lot of ups and... You know, you've had other men, and I've had other women. So you you all have had other relationships since then, but it's not like the one that you had with each other. And this person, for some reason, is deciding that they want a second chance. Okay? So that's where we're at. Spirit, how do you want to begin? <clears throat> I'm hearing sweet tea for the soul. Alright, sweet tea for the soul. Spirit, what message do you have out of this book for our, for our reading tonight? Sweet tea for the soul, Spirit. The Bird Girl. I've never read this one ever. And I've had this book like a year. The Bird Girl. Okay. I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong. Nor does food come to the wise, or wealth to the brilliant, or favor to the learned. But time and chance happens to them all. Ecclesiastes 9.11 Tucked away in Savannah, Georgia's historic Bonaventure Cemetery, an obscure sculpture of a little girl with her arms extended adorned a family's plot. A photographer commissioned to take a photograph for a book cover happened to spot the combination statue bird seed feeder in the dusk of an early evening the hauntingly beautiful photograph wound up on the cover of best-selling novel also figuring prominently in an, a later film version from that point on fans beat a path to the cemetery to see the statue marveling at its pure and serene simplicity. However, due to its unexpected popularity, the Bird Girl statue had to be prematurely relocated to an art museum. One question begs to be asked, 
if the photographer had taken a photograph of some other statue in the Bonaventure Cemetery that evening, would a different sculpture have inspired such fervor? Fame seems to follow no formula or reason, yet it finds those to whom it is given. So somebody's being given fame, and we've been hearing that in this collective. It seems to be a musician or somebody. It doesn't have to be. Maybe this time it's going to be somebody for their beauty. Okay? Faith check. In this world, one might be famous or infamous, but earthly fame is in either form is fleeting. It's temporary. Never forget that. I don't care how famous you are. And that's why in that song that I gave you the other night called Sticky by Drake. Oh, my boob is itching so bad. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> that's not a coincidence. <laughs> Nothing happens by accident in a reading. But that song of Sticky by Drake was saying, you know, that they were, their chest was getting big. And he was like, you need to get that shit in check. Because nobody's famous forever. Fame is temporary. <clears throat> but did you know that God has his own Hall of Fame? His Faith Hall of Fame. In an impressive list of Old Testament heroes of the Bible in Hebrews 11. Ordinary men and women who triumphed over adversity and whose stories both encourage and challenge our faith. The desire for fame tempts even noble minds, St. Augustine. So maybe you have a desire for fame. But somehow there's somebody in your life that wants a second chance with you. Because for one thing, the sex was off the charts. Okay? So... You can judge the uh, the situation by that if you'd like. You can listen to the song, All Mine, All Mine, All Mine. <clears throat> you know what it's like to be all mine. And I know I treated you bad. But if, you, if you'll give me another chance, I'll, ma I'll make it right this time. Like, they really desire another chance to get it right. Because they realize that the chemistry between the two of you is like nothing they've ever experienced and they've had other people since you and so have you but when you really desire something special you come back to this person because it's special and yeah we'll just leave it at that okay <laughs> Okay, the song a little bit made me um, blush because it's, it's vulgar, but I mean, it is what it is. It's real. He let's keep it real, and that's what he does. He keeps it real. All right, Spirit, what do you want to do next? All right, let's find out where are my tarot cards. I know I put them somewhere. Everything's kind of still packed up, and I'm sorry for having my body in the film this time. I don't typically like to do that because I like to keep my um I don't want to be famous <laughs> I like my anonymity I'm here to use the red deck all right spirit show me how you're working in this situation with this well that didn't tell oh my god y'all look who popped out the empress there's an empress who feels like there's no hope or you feel like there's no hope for this person she's upright though this empress is upright she's standing in her power there's a situation that feels hopeless to this person, I think. Or you may feel like having this person back is hopeless. Uh, what's the energy to overcome? Because the hopelessness, you would think somebody's judgment. You're not seeing this. So I, I don't think you realize this person does want you back. All right, and what's going to pull it together? Unconditional love in reverse. So it's like <sighs> toxicity is what's going to pull it together. And then we have temperance. So we have Capricorn, we have Virgo, happy birthday to my Virgos, and we have Taurus, we have Ophiuchus, we have Libra, which I feel like is karma. I think that the two of you being apart has brought about a certain amount of karma, like you're, you've learned your lesson, that this is who you really wanted. And then we have unconditional love or charity. Charity is unconditional love. It's the love that we have from God it's unconditional but it's in reverse so what's going to pull it together is you can't find the love that you can find from this person anywhere else 
and you've got to realize that you have to realize that but you're having to be patient about it for some reason and we're going to find out all the details no worries we got this all right <clears throat> sacred um not sacred destiny we're going to pull sacred destiny for sure um energy oracle may i have a message please unhealthy attachments and anxiety so maybe you are with somebody else that's very unhealthy or maybe this person was unhealthy because they say in the song they didn't treat you right a door to spirit and anxiety talk to me spirit what do we need to know about this situation here what do we need to know the healer of the ages and the door to spirit spirit's like i'm working on this i'm healing this and i'm taking you through the door towards your life purpose Alright, so you had financial constraints and your heart was closed, is what it looks like to me. There's been some financial problems here for sure. And it says in that song, if my love for you could pay the bills, we'd be the richest in the room. We have everything we ever wanted. So you had financial problems here also. <clears throat> Maybe somebody had a strong money focus. Number 13, financial constraints. It came, all of it came out in reverse. We have financial constraints. We have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which is your heart chakra. And we have appreciation in reverse. So a lack of appreciation. Oh, a storm warning and moon energy with rest and rejuvenation so something is going to happen if somebody's thinking is in reverse or something these are all in reverse right here number 13 this could be the other person's thinking because somebody's thinking is pretty much upright but it looks like somebody else's is in reverse oh, but well, let's wait and see <clears throat> number 13 financial constraints Restrictions, and this is about money. The card reverse portends an increase in the money about to come your way. So your your constraints are about to clear on out. Check you out. I know that's right. I can't, I finally get paid Friday. Money is about to come your way. The previous constrictions have broken open, and there's a greater flow of money and other things. As more funds come in, you'll find that you have the freedom to take more risk and spend without the previous extreme precautions. The river of abundance is starting to flow your way, but don't be too cavalier. Always bring your conscious always yeah, always bring your consciousness to this in every aspect of your life. I can move through any cycle with dignity and awareness. I am open to receiving increasing wealth. Money moves to and through my life, bringing benefits to all. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're about to have some abundance come your way. Your money is about to start flowing again. <coughs> You've been through a time where times were tight. My throat chakra or something. I'm feeling like I have asthma. Like I can't breathe tonight for some reason. <coughs> Maybe you have that. <clears throat> I mean, this just started when I sat down here. You may have asthma. Number 38. Your, your, your um, heart chakra. It says this. This card reversed indicates some blocks in the flow of your heart center energy. Perhaps it's an old sense of abandonment or the grief of a broken heart lingering from a long past event. Whether it's recent or not, this blocked energy stops you from caring for yourself and attracting love from others. And it can create an undercurrent of unhappiness that permeates your life. It's time to heal the old stuck stuff and move on. Don't bypass the pain and pretend it doesn't exist. Instead, ventilate it to, in your journal and release it with an intention to be clear, happy, and self-loving. Meditate on the increasing light in your heart center and call on Raphael to help bring healing and clarity there. Love yourself and give yourself the approval you need from others, 
that you've been needing from others. The healing will take place and happiness will return. My heart center, my fourth chakra, is open to its perfect, healthy, and joyful state. The energy of love flows through me now. I live in love. So, your, your finances are opening up, but your heart is closed for some reason. And we're going to find out why, okay? And then we have appreciation in reverse. So, somebody is um, maybe not grateful. <coughs> The appreciation card reversed is warning you that you're missing some important opportunities. You've lost your sense of gratitude and have gotten caught up in the prickly brambles of negativity and possibly even despair. Stop focusing on what you don't have, even if it seems to be a lot. Instead, find something to appreciate about yourself and your life. Choose to focus on the little things with gratitude and acknowledgement. Your, refuse, your refusal to appreciate even the small pleasures will cause them to drop from your hands and keep you stuck in some of your problem patterns, causing you to lament your lack even more. Let go of this negative focus and spend some time every day acknowledging what you have to be grateful for. Remember, the more you appreciate your life, the more your life will appreciate and value. So you have a lack of gratitude, even though your money is increasing, but something has caused you to close your heart. And so I think the appreciation is for whatever has, I think like, you don't really care about the money. You want, you, you want this person. I think you want a second chance with this person. The money's not making you happy. Even though you finally have a little bit of some money, you know, in the bank, you might be starting to finally see your, your um, bills starting to get caught up and stuff or whatever your, your situation is. Maybe you've been, you know, blessed by having somehow you've gotten some kind of lump sum of money and you're finding that that's just not making me happy. It's not because I don't have something that I love or someone that I love. <clears throat> and you feel like there's no hope. So you have money coming in, but you have a lack of appreciation for something. All right. Spirit said sacred destiny. So for some reason, there's a message in sacred destiny, and then I'm being told to pull the kipper out. So we're going to get the kipper out and see if we can find out how this happened. I'm telling you, I brought all my cards with me. Not all of them. I probably still got several shelves of decks at home, but... The ones that I mostly use on this channel I brought with me. Power and happiness. Spirit, talk to us about what's going on here. There's a gateway. Power and a gateway. So Spirit's opening a door for you that's leading you to some power. Alright, talk to me, Spirit. What is it that we need to know about financial constraints? About the financial constraints that are here oh that flew out forgiveness came out <clears throat> and happiness came out it's like i'm unhappy because there needs to be forgiveness the financial constraints are about you needing to have happiness and forgiveness all right why is our heart closed good strong answers only please from the universe about why our heart is closed because you want freedom you want freedom and you feel like you're not thriving. So your financial constraints, your money's your money is improving. And it's like, but I need to forgive somebody and I'm not happy. So there's somebody in your life that needs a second chance, but I don't think you're trying to give them one. Or they're not trying to give you one. Alright, why are we unappreciative? Why is the appreciation card in reverse for us? They're coming out pretty forcefully because of being open to leadership and let go, letting go the release card like releasing something it's like i need to be open to somebody's leadership and let this go release it so and then on the bottom of the deck we have a voyage in reverse so maybe you were planning on going somewhere but you're, you're having to cancel your plans for some reason all right, Kipper, where you at, baby? Where you at, baby? And when I packed these up, they were wet. I hope they're not wet still. I hope they've had time to dry out. 
something leading on them. Alright, we have a mature woman and a wealthy man. So, maybe you are older in life, mature, or you're at least mature, and you have a wealthy man. There's a false person and a wealthy man. So, there's also a false person involved with this wealthy man. And, oh, sudden wealth and a false person. So, the person that got the sudden wealth maybe was not you. There was somebody else. Ooh. All right, show me how this happened. That might be why you closed your heart, because somebody else got wealth. The lovers is here. This happened because of the lovers. This could be about a choice, or it could be about somebody you're in love with. Clarify the lovers. Somebody's bad health is here. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> the lovers is clarified by bad health in reverse. A main female in jurisdiction. Why did I say jurisdiction? It's adjudication. So somehow where you're at, your jurisdiction is a factor. Alright, so somebody had bad health. <clears throat> There's a main female. The choice was about somebody's health. And a main female had to make a decision, but couldn't make a decision about somebody's... I think you were supposed to make a choice. Somebody's main female was supposed to make a choice when it came to somebody's health. Alright, well what were they hiding? That they were a phony. Their main female was a fake. Or the, the person with the bad health was. Maybe they were faking about their health. What's being shown? That somebody's imprisoned. Somebody is imprisoned. And what's going to happen next? So there's going to be a mature woman. Why are they imprisoned? Because of a journey... A wealthy man in reverse. Wait, there's another card stuck to it. This is the ones that got wet. Uh, because of a journey, a change, a man who lost all of his money, and unexpected income. So you feel in prison <clears throat> because you want to go somewhere for a change. You maybe don't have the money and you've got some unexpected income. So that might be why your finances are improving. But for some reason you feel imprisoned. I'm not sure I'm getting all this, but I will. Give me time. Alright, so somebody's health was bad. But it's in reverse. So it's like their bad health is in reverse. They had a main female. Somebody tried to maybe have you committed. Because your health, they lied about your health being bad. Like maybe they said you had bad mental health and they tried to have you committed. Or you may have had to recently do that with somebody in your family and you weren't able to. Because this person secretly was faking and pretending like they were healthy. Like they might have been like, I'm not unhealthy. I don't know why they're calling me unhealthy. And over here it's like they want to they want to go on a journey and change. Because somebody that was a wealthy man is in reverse. But you got unexpected income. So you want to go on a journey because of some unexpected income. Because you haven't had money before and you want to change. And you, there's a mature woman showing up. Why is the mature woman here? Because she's the one that's concerned. You remember down here there's a main female that was trying to do something to make decisions about your health being bad? There's also a mature woman. This could be the same woman. And there's a mature man also. But he's in reverse. So you have an older woman who's concerned. That's what's going to happen next. An older woman's going to have concern about you. You want to go on a journey because you want to... Maybe you want to get some money. Maybe you see an opportunity for you to make some unexpected money. But secretly, somebody's fake. Alright, let's see if we can pull out some more details here. 
here are. Here's my cards. Okay, show me how this happened, please. Listen. You needed to listen. Somebody wouldn't listen to you. Remember I told you this main female was trying to tell somebody that somebody had bad health? But the, whoever you were trying to tell wouldn't listen. They wouldn't let you make that decision. You may have been trying to have somebody in your life committed. Why are they secretly being fake? Because you're not being heard. So yeah, they're tell you're saying, look, this person's health is not good. And I think they need to be committed. But they won't listen to you. And this person is faking and pretending like they're okay. Alright, what's being shown? So you're trying to have somebody committed that you're going to unplug and it's time for anal so it's like i gotta just take a break for a minute unplug from all of all everything that's going on around me and examine this a little deeper and what's going to happen next we see somebody's going to be concerned the mature woman you're going to keep shit clean. What else are you going to do besides keep shit clean? And maybe you were like living in a pigsty and people were concerned. You fucked up and you're going to bear your fucking soul. So you're going to keep shit clean but you fucked up and you're going to bear your fucking soul. That's what's going to happen next. You made a mistake and you're going to bear your soul but you're going to watch what you say? That mouth of yours could start some shit. So you're going to be careful what you say when you bear your soul. But you're going to bear your soul. Alright. And then we have fill in the blank. So there's something odd going on here. And it has to do with somebody's health. Mean bad. And a, and a main female who couldn't make a choice. Because nobody would listen. They wouldn't listen. And so secretly you're not being heard. Because somebody is faking. So you're just like, I gotta unplug here and I gotta examine this a little bit deeper. Somebody feels, I think you were trying to have somebody put in, the, the imprisonment is like you were trying to have them committed because you felt like they were unhealthy mentally. That's what it looks like. And maybe they were living in like unsanitary conditions not not taking care of their physical health not taking care of their home they may have been hoarding it could have been anything but for some reason i think you were trying to have somebody committed locked up or something <clears throat> and they're going to be released you're going to have to be open to whatever this leadership decision is to let this person go you're going to have to forgive even though you're unhappy and accept the fact that they have their freedom. Somebody here has their freedom and you don't feel like they need their freedom right now because you feel like they're a threat to themselves or to others in some way is what I feel is happening here. There's, there's, a, there's a situation going on here that has nothing to do with that song, I guess. I don't know how it connects. And I don't know how it connects to Sweet Tea for the Soul either. Because that was like about fame. And the statue. People were looking for that statue. So it, had, it ended up in a museum. So to protect it. Okay. So to protect the statue from all the people that were coming to see it. They had to put it in a museum. So maybe to protect you from all the people that have been coming to see you. They want to put you in, you know, like in an, an asylum or um, a mental health facility or a rehabilitation facility. Or they just want to take away your ability to be your own guardian or something like that because they feel like your health is not good. Whether it be your mental or your physical health. Alright, so what I want to know is what you would say if you bared your soul. And then I want to pull some tarot on this, I guess. Vera, how can I find out what they would say if they bared their soul? Let's find out what the hidden truth is. Let's 
What is the hidden truth here? If they bared their soul, you fucked up. I'm bearing my soul, but I'm going to watch what I say. What would they say? What would they say if they bared their soul? So it's like, I'm bearing my soul, but I'm being careful what I say. What would they say? The one bearing their soul. They would say, I want to start over. Okay, there's, there's where the connection is, but I can't reach out. So this person wants to start over with you, but they can't reach out. Why can't they reach out? Because I need security. So somebody's having to be maybe kept in a secure place. Clarify what you mean here. What else would they say? They would say, you broke my heart. I'm in a committed relationship, but I admire you. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is in a committed place where they're in, like, they're being locked up. And they need people to watch over them. They want to start over, but they don't have any way to reach out to start over. You hurt them when you, when you did this to them, when you committed them in this, and you need security. But I do admire you for doing this. I admire you for doing this, but I don't feel like I need this. And I miss being with you. So it's like you had somebody put away. Maybe you're trying to decide if you made the right decision or not. What would the other person say in return? Oh, that flew out. We don't share the same values. So you, did, you and this person do not share the same values. You didn't see my tears. So somehow you hurt this person. What else would they say besides we don't see the same way values? I have too much to lose and I hide my feelings. But how do you feel? You're patiently waiting. What are you patiently waiting for? I can't get enough of you. I feel so happy with you. But I still feel the pain. I saved your text messages. So it's like this person's afraid to give you another chance. Like you, you broke my heart. I admired you. I'm in a committed relationship. I need the security of my committed relationship and I can't reach out. That could be the way you could look at this too. I do want to start over with you, but I can't reach out to you right now because I'm with somebody else. You broke my heart. I'm with somebody else and I need the security of being with them even though I do admire you. And then this person over here is like, we don't even share the same values. I have way too much to lose. I'm not going to tell you how I feel about you and I'm patiently waiting because I can't get enough for you of you and I, I'm happy with you but I still feel the pain. So something happened between the two of you and it's like you have to be with this person for security and they're patiently waiting but they feel like they don't share the same values with you maybe because you're with somebody else i'm not sure yet i'm not sure i'm getting all this this is a huge reading spirit why do you trust me this much come on man <laughs> All right, clarify what's going on here. What would this person say that's bearing their soul? They would say, sometimes I hear your voice. So they hear voices. I can still see you. They're seeing things too. And I hope I will see you again sometime. So they hear you, they see you, and they hope they'll see you again sometime. What would the other person say? <clears throat> this could be taken a couple different ways. They would say, I hope you're happy. And I don't trust you with, you didn't imagine it in reverse. So it's like, yeah, you did imagine it. Woo. This could be taken a couple different ways. And I just gave you both scenarios. So you decide which way it goes for you. Show me a little bit more about how this happened. How did this happen, Spirit? Somebody was recording, announcing, or expressing recording, announcing, expressing, or revealing, and the other person wouldn't listen. Somebody was trying to tell you something, and they may have even been recording it, and that you just wouldn't listen. What was being hidden? That you were venting and talking about somebody's issues, somebody needed anger management, somebody was coming in after you at the gym. 
and what was being shown that somebody was sick remember and what's gonna happen next wow the sugar and the salt are gonna but you so somebody is fake remember they're fake they're bugaboo they don't keep their promises and they're toxic <clears throat> with somebody being insecure on the bottom of the deck. All right, I'm still not sure I'm getting it all, but maybe you are. Maybe I can pick up a few more details with the tarot. I'm gonna try that. All right, Spirit, talk to me from, let's, let's do this. Let's find out a little bit more. Untold truths of the heart, how about that? Oh wait, card and wrong deck alert. I tried to put these away carefully too. Uh, let's see what they say. Nothing happens by accident, even when it seems like it's my stupidity. Somebody wants to express their truth about a brand new love because they feel strong and empowered by the sun. So somebody's in love with somebody new and they want to tell them. And that's just facts. All right, secretly, how did this happen? Secrets of the heart for how... They, ooh, that flew out. Divine masculine is upright with having unconditional love and a deep unconditional love at that. Divine masculine is deep and in unconditional love with somebody. All right, what's, what's being hidden? That this is a fantasy for them. What's being shown that they're using their intuition and they're not saying something what are they not saying it's a confession about how scared they are why are they scared they want a second chance and they're scared you won't give them one what's going to happen next card and wrong oh card turned over somebody's reached their limit also Maybe that's why you're afraid they won't give you a second chance. What's going to happen next? I'm getting real hot. Somebody's going to be alone, single, because they're going to no longer be confused. What were they confused about? Something that was being hidden. <clears throat> what was being hidden? Somebody's nourishment and their loyalty. So they were confused about somebody who was very comforting, very um, nourishing. This person was very loving and kind and sweet. They nourished you. They fed you. They made your soul feel alive. And they were very loyal. But you were confused about that because they were hiding it, I think. And now you want to be alone. You're going to be alone because you're no longer confused about somebody that was hiding the fact that they were very loyal. You're seeing through illusions. What's the fantasy they're hiding? That they're exhausted and they feel like they're better off? They're tired of this and feel like they're better off. They're tired of something, and they're pretending. What are they tired of? Somebody won't see their part in things. What are they up to? They're getting high. They're getting high. And they were doing this, I think. Oh, I'm getting so hot. Running and getting high got out got out did you hear that somebody got out and they were running and getting high somebody got out of somewhere and they were running and getting high in the past and you didn't realize this or they didn't somebody wouldn't see their part in running and getting high okay but now they're realizing that this is a fantasy and they're better off because somebody's reached their limit and you may not want to give them a second chance. They want to be alone though because they're realizing that somebody was hiding their loyalty and how much they want to show you love. Now they want to express their truth about how much they're in love. And the Divine Masculine has a deep unconditional love. Alright. 
now all right i'm gonna go one more round with these talk to me spirit about how this happened somebody quit talking to you mercury was involved and this person was maybe at a distance somehow distance and communication were a factor all right what was being hidden that somebody had a brand new opportunity like a new place to live or a new job and what was being shown that somebody was no longer um, going to be controlled all right so what's going to happen next you're going to realize that you haven't been able to get a solid foundation and you're going to see why show us what they're seeing in this mirror their higher self is here and they're making a decision. <clears throat> Let's see what their higher self is here to, to tell them. Your higher self is talking to you and telling you why you couldn't get established, why you couldn't get your feet on the ground. And what did your higher self show you? Or this is what they're going to show you. That you didn't have any boundaries. You needed boundaries. You needed strength. You were angry because of divine timing, needing an, a new perspective, taking the first step and being in the light with balance and asking for guidance. So it wasn't easy for you, obviously, to get established where you were. Holy schmoly, I'm hot. What else am I missing, Spear? I'm missing something. Let's look. We need to look at the tarot. That's not the tarot that I keep reaching for. This is the tarot. It'll do, I guess. I'm wondering. Oh, here it is. Oh, everything's kind of out of order right now until I can figure out how I packed it up. <clears throat> All right. So, talk to me, Spirit, about the Empress. Why is the Empress here with feeling like they have... What was it they felt like? They had no hope? I hate when I pull Tarot so far down. There we go. No hope, yeah. Why is the Empress... Why is she here, first of all? Because of a relationship, a lie... And a marriage. <laughs> Did somebody lie to you about being in a relationship? They were married. All right. Why is no hope here? Because they were married. Because there's going to be a wheel and a chariot. Those are major arcana. Let's clarify the wheel. The wheel is a weakness. What's the weakness? Strength is also a major arcana. That's a lot of cards. This is the end of this. Somebody's tired of this. They don't, they don't wish this anymore. They wish, they don't wish you would come back anymore. So they're tired of this and they wish that you would not come back. They're, they're angry with you. They're fighting with you and they're heartbroken. <clears throat> All right. Why is the chariot here? Holy schmoly. Because you're overcoming this because you're awakening to a tower. And what's the tower? The tower is that you can't heal from this. And that somebody can't be trusted. Why can't they be trusted? They're the king of cups. What do you mean they're the king of cups? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Because, <clears throat> this. remember I told you somebody was conflicted? This is the one who was conflicted. And it was because they got tired of waiting. They were like, I'm not waiting for this person anymore. I don't care how much they love me. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not going to keep waiting for somebody. Even if they say they love me, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Because if you love somebody, you don't keep them waiting. Uh, and there's there was supposed to be a date, I think, that never happened. They may have promised to take you out, and then they stood you up. All right, what was the damn energy to overcome here? I pulled so many cards. Judgment, judgment. Spirit says judgment. All right, what is the judgment that you need to see? There's a king of pentacles, too. You have a king of pentacles also, or this might be the same person, that's not hiding their feelings. What do you mean they're not hiding their feelings? They need to clean up the karma. 
Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This person knows that they need to clean up the karma. And they're not hiding this either. They're realizing it. They are realizing, in order for me to have a solid love that's serious and loyal, I have to clean up this karmic relationship. I think they're finally realizing that if they want to have a second chance here, they've got to get rid of the third parties, whatever they are. And this toxicity is what's going to pull it together. Clarify that. The mirroring. And it looks like somebody's like, it looks like there was a lot of fast movement backwards. What do you mean the backwards? The sun is here. Leo is here. What are they so happy about? Because somebody went through some dark shit. And they're unstable. They're un it's like they're no longer juggling you because they went through something dark. They came back to you. You came back to each other. And you're happy about this. Because something dark happened. What happened? The King of Swords is here. Why is he here? Because he remembers something. What does he remember? He has a lot of memories about something. He remembers trying to show somebody love and being di divinely guided to know that it's time. So there's like a Gemini vibe here or a Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and they're being divinely guided to know that it's time for this. There was something dark that happened, and it caused you to not have any money. Your money was messed up because of whatever dark shit took place here. And this person has a lot of fond memories of showing you love, and now they're being divinely guided to know that it's time. Alright, what do they think it's time for? The truth to come out about somebody who's cold as hell. The king and queen of wands both in reverse. So the truth is going to come out. This person is being divinely guided to tell the truth about how cold-hearted the King and Queen of Wands are. What is the truth about why they're so cold-hearted? Because they're not fighting for what they love. There's no boundaries. And somebody is seeing this differently. What do you mean you're seeing it differently? It has to do with somebody taming their hunger when it comes to having a money focus. They have too much of a money focus and they're not wanting to take a risk because they're in it for the money. So there's a king and queen of wands and they're in it for the money. They're both in reverse. So these could be friends of yours or this could be... This is an identical, this is soulmate vibes. They're in it for the money, though. There's an Aries here and a Leo. There's an Aries, a masculine and a feminine fire sign. They're both pissed off. They're ice cold. They're, they are, they have shit for boundaries. And the truth is coming out about how much all they care about is the money. Maybe both of these people, all they care about is money. Maybe they're, like, identical because they're both alike. And the truth is coming out about and that all they care about is money. So what's going to be the outcome here? That Ace of Cups. <laughs> and, there, and there's going to be no more bickering and fighting either. Somebody's reevaluating this. There's hope for it. But they don't want to take a risk. Clarify the Ace of Cups. A pregnancy could be involved here. You're waiting for some results. I think so you can I think you're waiting to find out if you're pregnant or you're hoping that this person will return and show you love and it looks like they think it's time to because they're realizing that these two people over here are only in it for the money and they're just alike it's like soulmate vibes all right talk to me spirit what's going on here trust in different pages. So you're on different pages when it comes to trust. Why? Because of support, acceptance, mastering a spiritual lesson. 
and having an obsession. So somebody has been learning and not only learning but mastering a spiritual lesson about support and having acceptance that everything happens for a reason and that somebody's obsessed. What are they obsessed with? Stability and making a decision about it. And what's going to be the outcome? Whoa. I don't even know what to say. I'm not taking that many cards. What's going to be the outcome? Use your intuition, Spirit said. It has something to do with children. All right. So maybe it's child support. What else is going on here? Anything else? You Somebody has integrity and they're going to retreat because there's a new love that somebody has chemistry with. So you have somebody new and it showed up like three times now. And there's needing to be an apology, balance, your longing for here and now to be released. You're longing to be out of this relationship. And I think it's because you're realizing this person was using you for your money. I don't know. I don't feel like we've had anything that said twin flame here. But we do have a divine feminine. So let me see where she's at in all of this. Where's the divine feminine at in all of this? They're not contemplating. What are they not contemplating? This mirroring and somebody surrendering. Clarify who's surrendering. In the spring, something's going to end. What's going to end in the spring? Something that happened last fall. Clarify what? Somebody was at a crossroads. So what are they going to do? The answer was no, and this ended. All right, so this ended... Because somebody said no, or they're going to. It looks like last fall, somebody said no, and they ended this. Last spring, something happened that ended this. And then in the fall, something happened that ended this. So it's like, it's always no. It's never the right time. But this person's like, I'm showing you love, damn it. I'm being divinely guided that it's time right now. All right, so what's going to happen? Divine Feminine came out again with self-worth. All right, what else? Anything else we need to know? Divine Feminine, your self-worth is here. Your inner child is in reverse. A barrier is in reverse. And understanding is in reverse. So it's like you don't understand why you have this barrier in your inner child. It's your self-worth. You need to work on your self-worth, baby. You've been settling. All right, and if they work on their self-worth, what will be the outcome? You'll end a third party. You've been um, it, that's like people, places, things. It could be drugs. It could be a job. Outcome of ending the third party. You'll get communication about settling. And what will be the outcome of that? What will the, the communication be? Somebody's not going to refocus. I don't want to refocus. In the summer, I had a fresh start. I ended it with a karmic partner because they were unawakened. And I want my twin flame. There's the twin flame. Alright. What's going to happen with the twin flame? They're unavailable. Why are they unavailable? Because they're in denial and playing hard. So what's going to happen then? Put away the computer. There's interference. What should they do instead? What should this person do instead? Work on your abundance. There's a warning about being vulnerable when it comes to a friendship. <clears throat> the twin flame is unavailable. And you're being warned when it comes to being vulnerable with a friend. There's obstacles. So be careful being vulnerable with this friend. All right, what's going on with this person's money? You're, you're getting stability in your life. That's what's happening. Alright, I want to find out what's going on with this friendship. Why should, why are you warning them about being vulnerable? This could be saying, in order to have abundance, I'm warning you, you need to open up to your friend. I think that's what it's saying. But take it as it resonates. Alright, anything else we need to know? I'm going to ask in a minute, hold on. Oh yeah, there's more gossip. Somebody's going to the next level. They're a counselor, there's a networker, and they're, they're into nature. Now, talk to me about this gossip. What do we need to know about gossip? You have fake friends, there's been a nightmare, 
and somebody's been burning the evidence. What are they burning evidence of Some that they're expecting? What are they expecting? It looks like a baby. A private relationship. They're going to get a room and they're going to throw out the trash. Somebody's insecure. They're busy. And you're getting played. Damn it, boy. Alright, I want to find out what you're saying about this friendship and being vulnerable. What exactly are you saying? There needs to be self-care, forgiveness, and setting boundaries because of this twin flame. You need to forgive, take care of yourself, and set boundaries because of that twin flame. <clears throat> Alright, anything else for our finance? What's the next level look like? It looks like you planning something when it comes to your spirituality and being left a legacy or leaving one and making an investment. Outcome of legacy. You had some setbacks or you're going to. Don't be a perfectionist. There's something that you can't see about growing up. Clarify what they can't see. Somebody's going to make an investment in a, a new beginning, and it has to do with beauty and divine timing. What's going to be the outcome of that investment in the new beginning? You're, you're going to use your voice. What else? Why are they using their voice? Because of unlocking transportation and having options in the media outcome of their options social media is here the office is here charity is here and going slow is here outcome of going slow you're a phoenix rising you're, you're, you have a strategy it has to do with a scientific method a partnership the media and a helper all right i'm gonna leave it there Angels, how are you helping here? You're giving this person the faith where they don't feel like they have they have any hope. You're giving them gratitude and power. Anything else? Miracles and blessings. You can't get any better than that. And they're giving you the vision to see something. The truth, maybe. Alright. Uh, instant magic oracle. May I have a message, please? I don't really understand all about this reading, but somebody's going to get it. Big, mega, massive payoff incoming. You're about to have some financial blessings coming your way. Miracles, even. All right, Spirit, talk to me, please, from the best friend here. Demand respect and cry when you want to. Demand, demand respect and cry when you want to. All right, let's get you some guidance and get out of here. I'm sorry if this wasn't your reading. This felt like a very specific and maybe even private reading. I don't know. Oh. Can I have one card, please? That was the point of hearts. <laughs> one, please. Oh, that flew out. I'm going to take it. Princess, Savior, and Free Spirit. I think we've seen this one before. <clears throat> Both of them. Number 12. Even if you feel uncertain about facing a challenge, believe in yourself. You are strong enough to conquer this. There will be help if you need it, but you already have the inner resources required to overcome any obstacle and attain the most blessed outcome. If you are in the process of letting go of someone or something, perhaps an old habit, an old way of life, a relationship, or a situation in which you have felt trapped, don't allow insecurity or uncertainty to stop you. You've got this, and you are doing the right thing and moving on. And somebody felt imprisoned or, or was literally imprisoned over there. And then 22, free spirit. The relationship might have you feeling that way. When we have an active imagination, we can forget to use it for dreams and instead let it create nightmares. There's something you've been worrying about. There's no need to torment yourself. Let go of any thoughts, attitudes, or beliefs that are based in fear. They are not helpful, necessary, or accurate. Everything has a positive and loving purpose, even if we cannot see what it is straight away. 
you'll find a loving solution comes to you easily and at the perfect time if you choose to avoid fearful thinking let yourself be free to feel positive about your future and know that everything is going to be okay all right i guess i'm going to stop there i don't have the trinkets with me because they're hard to carry around without losing them but i hope that whoever this reading was for got something out of it and that you'll let me know by liking it subscribing and whatever else Share the content if you're able, even if just by word of mouth. Alright, I will be from here on out doing readings daily. Um, I probably will start getting up a little bit early and recording them in the morning. So you'll have, if nothing else, at least a short in the morning. and Maybe the longer videos at night. Alright you guys, I love you. I hope you're doing well and that you will comment and let me know how you've been. Take care. Bye.